what does your perfect day look like? Somehow we believe that perfect day just happens only once or a few times in our lives. Somehow we believe that every day we wake up alive does not necessarily have to be a perfect day. Somehow we believe that our perfect day has to be so perfect that we cannot even experience it while we are just going by our hard day or we are not on a holiday. Think about it, that we wake up each day, go by our chores, work hard, do our obligations, go to that job we dislike, make money. Why? Just to experience a perfect day one day. For me, it became too tiring to live for the future, perhaps for that holiday, and simply hoping that perfect day would arrive one day. It was no longer motivating for me, and I knew that I needed to change something. So in this video, I want to share with you how to use your feminine to create a perfect day each day. My name is Jonita D'Souza, your feminine life stylist, creators of Exploring Femininity, which is a movement for modern day busy women just like you and me to experience, to explore their sensual and sacred feminine wisdom so that they can overcome burnout, unfulfillment, and experience more pleasure, energy, as well as create their dream life. So welcome. You see, my dear, we live in a world where our job has become more important than living, where our relationships overshadow our own needs where our expectations rule our emotions and where one cannot face life to their own conditions. We are taught to study well, get the job, get married, have children, get the house, get the car, pay the bills, follow the government, go on vacations once in a while and eventually prepare for retirement and die peacefully. <laughs> We allow our stories to take over our life and majority of us go to bed feeling unfulfilled in one way or the other. All of this is great, but is this what it is to live fully? Well, I knew the answer for me was a big no. Let me ask you another question. We have 365 days in a year and if you think how many perfect days do you have in general? If you had asked me this question a few years ago, I would have said mm, maybe two or three. Um, that holiday, my birthday, <laughs> really. <laughs> Just take a pause for a minute with me and feel into this. When I asked myself this question, I felt a deep sense of rage that I'm not here to simply work, pay my bills and die one day. And the saddest part was that I was not even aware of what and how my perfect day should or would look like or mean like for me. Being a feminine lifestylist, having worked with hundreds of women, this is the first thing I do with my clients. We create their feminine lifestyle design, which means setting the foundation for recognizing what perfect day for them is and incorporating them in their everyday lives one thing at a time. Because you see, you are a human being, not a human doing, and you deserve to have more perfect days than your birthday, your wedding, your perfect date night, or whatever the occasional pleasure is. So you may ask why utilizing the feminine? Because feminine energy requires you to shift your everyday priorities to make the moments of your life more nurturing and fulfilling. 
because feminine energy is about giving importance to the creativity, emotional intimacy, play, and value-based growth, giving high priority to rest, inner beauty, and soothing environment. When we connect to this aspect of our feminine, we can feel into our perfect day on any given day. Because you see, the feminine invites you to focus on your feeling, your being, and identifying this is also the groundwork for many or any manifestations in your life. So pause this video and feel into how would you like to feel on a perfect day. Imagine that you are lying on your bed after your perfect day. How would you be feeling? You had a perfect day and you go to bed saying to yourself that, yes, I had a great day. How would that feeling be for you? Make a list of those feelings. For some women, it is about creating something. Or for some women, it's about doing something creative. For some, it is contributing to something. For some, it is a connection with nature, with loved ones. So what is it for you? Let me know in the comments. And then the next step is to go even deeper by making a list of things that you can do on your busy day to feel that way. So you see, now you may say, yes, great, but that does not make that day a perfect day. But guess what? You are much closer to having a fulfilled day than otherwise. And if you are someone who has not given up on her dreams and desires and still believes in making the journey towards your goal or your desire a pleasurable experience, then this practice will keep you energized and will also open you up for receiving more of your perfect day experiences. So let me give you an example. When I made my list, I knew that I would like to feel sensual on my perfect day. Sensual, not necessarily sexual, but sensual. And so then I had to think about the things I could do to make my sensuality feel nourished throughout the day. So for me, then it meant I took regular breaks when I was at work to feed my senses. Uh, for me, it was about becoming really slow or still, um, especially when things were getting really busy. So, you know, I was being a bit rebelled here. <laughs> my perfect day looked like I had fresh flowers in my environment. So I began to buy flowers for myself regularly rather than waiting for my husband to do that. <laughs> In my perfect day, I wanted to um, have salmon and avocado toast for breakfast. Guess what? I did that when we went on holidays only. So I began to create that breakfast for me on a regular basis, much more often. Um, I began to wear more beautiful clothes and adorn myself in a way that I felt like today was my perfect day. And I began to think more and more what have I been waiting for yeah so you can choose to wake up each day and have a perfect day or at least taste a piece of it you can choose to commit to do be the way that makes you feel alive and yes here is a secret tip the way you start your day pretty much sets the stage for it so set your intentions for the perfect day and yes you will still face hardships but you will not lose the enthusiasm for your life for the gift of presence you will not be a walking dead but a woman living fully by the way i also have a list of specific questions that you can journal on to get clarity on your perfect day and then incorporate incorporate them in your daily life step by step 
If you would like to have them, then please comment or connect with me and I'll send it to you. I also want to say that it's not about having high expectations about perfecting your life or perfecting your day, but having high standards of how you as a woman will allow yourself to be expressed on a regular basis through your presence. So share with me how you would like to feel on your perfect day. What's the one thing that your feminine will love to do in order to experience that? Will you commit to doing it today? You don't have to wait till your next vacation. Namaste. Thank you.